Hello, Lori Michelle, the Mashiach with commentary. In spite of mounting global pressure, Israel will be victorious. Do I know that? I know what I know. <laughs> I know the king, Hashem. And he says, absolute, no other way. And I say, good, <laughs> I believe in Israel. I am a big BB fan for years and years. If you've watched me for years, you know I love Benjamin Netanyahu. He's King BB to me, but not to everyone. But right now, we're united. We are. We are united as a people who understand we're in an existential war. This is a war of do or die, but it's not just Israel's war. And that's what the world seems to be absent in knowing that this is a war between good and evil. And there's no compromising here. We must win this war, not just for Israel, but for the world and the pressure being asserted against Israel's government and Benjamin Netanyahu and vilifying the prime minister is, wow, <laughs> shocking to me, but really nothing shocks me anymore. So those are the words of God Almighty and they're comforting, right? We will be victorious. But I turn on my phone all the time and I see another soldier, another father, another son has just died. And it's heartbreaking. And the world is descending upon Israel, calling us baby killers or whatever they're saying. And it's just not true. Gratefully, there's a lot of people in the world who understand Israel's in a fight for its life, for its people, for its children, that we are the victims of having a war brought on to us, not the other way around. So there's a lot of support, but the support seems to be more quiet than the naysayers and the terrorists they seem to have a lot of loud protests and support. Please forgive me, I have a cold. So I'll make this brief and just say, there's no plan B. He just said, that's correct. There's no plan B. Israel will be victorious. And what does that mean? Not just right now in Gaza and against Hamas and Hezbollah, ultimately, Israel will be at the helm, the godhead of the whole world. True. Amen. I just got an amen. I hope I get an amen from you. And not only does Israel not have a plan B, there's no plan B. Israel will win. Israel will be victorious. I don't have a plan B. What does that mean? It means I'm not going away. Even though I, I root for you all the time. I do this for you. If there was someone else who could share his voice the way I do. Oh, I, he just said, no way. So I don't have a plan B. Years ago, before I published my book, a friend said, Lori, if the book doesn't sell and this doesn't turn into the Messiah stuff, you know, running on love around the world the way you are told it will, we need a plan B for you, Lori. And I, I still don't have a plan B. I would like a plan B. He just said, no. <laughs> no. So I've, I've given him a deadline. <laughs> You like that? I gave God Almighty a deadline. I said, 
if these people, you, don't run in love with me soon and come together, I'm going to go on J-Date and look for a boyfriend. <laughs> he just said, no, I, I'm tired and lonely and I'm really not lonely, but this is annoying already. There's a few of you who keep me going. I love you, but I'm thinking, you know, anybody want to date the Messiah? <laughs> God bless you. Israel will be victorious. The words of God. Yes. I love you, BB. I pray for you. I pray for the government. Hold it together. Don't wilt under pressure. There's no plan B. I know how you feel. Bye.